frozen blueberries and like a little teether toy and she's watching Sesame Street and so right now it's just me and Luna my partner has taken our dog Bowie to the vet he's Bowie's becoming an elderly dog and so he just has a routine checkup to check his thyroid health he's a um, African Mastiff and American Bulldog rescue and he is a big boy he is like 30, 35 pounds heavier than me. So that's a big dog and I'm totally comfortable walking him, but when it comes to something like a vet, my parents' dog this past year got attacked by another dog at the vet and I just, I just think Mark physically could handle a situation like that better than I could. So that's where Mark is and Luna and I are just hanging out and while she's entertained by Sir Elmo, I am going to make some gluten-free homemade bread. I don't have all-purpose flour, so I'm actually going to make that. I found a recipe and it's, thankfully we had all the ingredients, pretty simple. And then the bread recipe is really simple. Three ingredients, flour, water, salt. I've never made it before, but I'm gonna test it out. It will, um, set for 12 hours and so tomorrow morning i will finish the bread up i'll see how that goes but i thought it would be fun to bring you all around this weekend it's a pretty normal weekend for us i will say having a baby luna is um 14 and a half months so it can be unpredictable for sure and so we'll see where things take us, but I'm excited to bake. We also, Mark made a really yummy juice this morning with fruits and veggies. And I don't know if you can see all the fruit fiber that's left over, but we don't like to waste that. We either give some to Bowie, who he is such a fruit and veggie monster, which is nice. But we also like to bake with our leftover fiber. And so since Luna has been able to eat solids, we really have been enjoying making uh, muffins with the leftover fiber. And so it's like carrots, great, or not grapes, carrots, uh, let's see, apples, watermelon. I think there's some cucumber in here, but when you put it all into muffins, it's just, it's tasty. And even we've made like juice with like lettuce and that's ended up in these muffins and it doesn't really make a difference. It's really nice. So, yeah, otherwise I think for the rest of the weekend, I am going to be mowing the lawn. We want to go on a walk, maybe um, go hang out down by the river. That goes along our property. Um, yeah, definitely cleaning. I love setting aside time for the weekend to rest, but also just like refreshing the house, cleaning things up. We have a dog, a baby, two cats, and things get really messy and we live in the, a forest. And so, yeah, like the floors could use a good clean. So I'm not sure what I will be sharing with you guys, but yeah, we'll just, we'll see where things go. And I definitely want to spend time in the studio this weekend. Yeah, I have some deadlines I'll go into later 
in this video of just what projects I'm working on, what fiber art projects, because it's kind of a busy season. I guess with the holidays, I have a commission I'm working on. Um, something really exciting is potentially happening that I have about one week to prep right now and it's confidential so I can't share, but the prep time's right now and if all goes well, I'll find things out in January and I can announce it in February. And that's kind of all I can say right now. But it's really exciting. And uh, even just having this secret opportunity is really cool. Uh, and I hope it just pans out to its fullest potential. So anyways, join me in the kitchen and thank you again for being here and I hope that you find some relaxation, some peace, some just entertainment, the way that I do when I watch videos like this from other creators, so. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement We both saw in two Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? Broke my arm in December We were running for the thrill You turned in the canyon To the snowbank where I fell Even still I remember Knowing she could feel it too it Was a mutual arrangement We both knew what to do Had a star on the forehead that was easy to find. When I let down her bridle, I saw into her hazel eyes. We had a deep understanding, never had to use a bit. It was a mutual arrangement. And in Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? So it's the afternoon. I think it might be around one o'clock up in my studio space, Luna's playpen as well. She's playing really nicely. She's kind of treading into the toddler zone of her life. And so it's nice to see that she can play solo for so long. Yeah, you talking about you. So today has been crazy productive and I'm definitely gonna have more of like a rest day tomorrow, but it feels good to get a lot done from baking, cleaning, um, laundry, and I'm going to now work in the studio. I'm not sure what I want to work on at the moment. I have 
this purple commission in the works. I'm also having um, these slurps that have just kind of been hanging out in the studio for far too long. I need to finish them. Um, this one's pretty much done. I just need to like trim this up. If you're hearing noises, Mark's downstairs in the kitchen, just having some space. So I need to trim this up a little bit and then trim and kind of shape this fringe area and then photograph it. And it's good to go and it's listed. This is the back of them. Nice, just very natural wood, simple hanging. Um, hardware and then I have this one as well that's just missing its fringe or it's like a little slurp texture so I have those two and then I'm also working on my mini slurps mini versions of these guys um, this is kind of it going to be pieced together the fringe, I, I guess like the whole thing is fringe. So I guess this is, would be a tassel and this would be the fringe. I steam these so that they're nice and sleek and straight. So I still need to steam it and get it attached. And then this is pretty much done. I am so, so, so excited with how it's come out. They're so cute. I can't wait to list this on my site. I mean, you can really see they're so tiny compared to the, this isn't even the original. These, this is a smaller version of the original. So it's just fun to like get smaller, 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 also do the larger, larger, larger versions. Um, so these will be available on my site sometime in November. I also, I have three color palettes I'm working with. I have a purple version. Um, just look how tiny these are. I don't know if that's focusing, but they're so little. There's something really satisfying about tiny versions of things. Um, so this is kind of the early stage of what they look like. So I might work on this. It's just, it's so tempting because I'm just having a blast with these little mini versions. And then I do have one more color palette that's kind of more of like a red, two-tone and I feel like probably the most like holiday oriented but these are not these are no longer ornaments I started doing these like really mini versions two years ago as kind of like ornaments Christmas ornaments or wall ornaments and I'm moving away from that and I just want to be making these mini little sculptures and offering them year round and not having them be seasonal not having them be holiday specific um and so I, I do am making some tiny versions of these as well. And I have a handful left over from the last series that I did that I will be putting at a discounted rate. And yeah, I'm really excited. It just feels good to be busy and to have a lot of different things. I've, I've never been someone to just focus on one project. Um, because the type of work that I do is so tedious and repetitive, it actually can be really harmful on my joints, my hands to be doing the same thing over and over and over again for days on end. So it's good for my mental health and my physical health to be working on lots of different things, different processes, different textures, it just keeps things spicy.
job of preparing Luna's body <laughs> for this time change. I've been trying the past like four or five nights to shift her to going to bed later, to wake up later, and while she's going to bed later, she's still waking up at the same time. So normally in the mornings, I most mornings I'd say I get some time to myself. It might just be 20 minutes, might be an hour and a half to have coffee, light some candles, work in the studio. And that just didn't happen this morning, but that's okay because it's Sunday and we're just taking things slower. So yeah, we just had family breakfast and now Luna's watching a little bit of cartoons so that I was able to finish up that bread recipe. <laughs> I kind of screwed it up. I, on like multiple different levels. So yesterday I made the gluten-free flour. And when I was looking at the recipe, you know how when you're scrolling through, it takes forever to get to the bottom of like a recipe listing on a website. And so I, there was a button that said like, uh, skip to recipe. I clicked that, brought me to the recipe, just to the ingredients and voila, I thought I was done. But I realized that it brought me to a recipe on the page that was for self, a self rising flour. And I even said only use this for recipes that call for self rising flour. And uh, so I just went with it. It worked really well with those muffins. They were so tasty. We've eaten almost all of them in a day. Uh, but I don't think it worked so well with the loaf of bread. I'm definitely the next time around going to do just the regular all-purpose gluten-free flour mix uh, and see how that works out. But when I was mixing the flour and the water yesterday and um, I didn't do salt because the flour blend had salt added in, uh, it was so liquidy. It, it became like a pancake mix and i was doing it while mark was with me and i was like what the what is going on so to salvage it i added a cup of buckwheat flour which is what i was going to mix blend in with the all-purpose flour blend to begin with before i screwed up got mixed up so i added the buckwheat i will say it made it quite yellow and yellow is okay i just i'm not sure we'll see how the flavor is and i think I'm going to just be playing around with this recipe, the flour recipe and the bread recipe. The other thing that I screwed up with this recipe was that the bread, the dough needed to have at least 12 hours to rise, 12 to 16, and if you go over 16, you wanna put it in the fridge. And I don't know why I thought 12 hours was like 24 hours the next day. So when I made the loaf yesterday, 12 hours would have been like very in the evening or 16 hours would have been at like 1 a.m. I'm not going to do that to myself just for a loaf of bread. So I waited pretty much a full 24 hours, but I didn't put it in the fridge and it didn't really rise too much. So we'll see. Either way, I'm excited. It's definitely not like a sandwich bread. It's more of like a soup dipping bread, maybe making like avocado toast with it. And yeah. Just trial and error, but it's a, a fun little thing to do on the weekend. We also have something really special that we're doing today. Last week, last weekend, my parents came for Halloween and my dad brought a family heirloom and we totally forgot to utilize it. Uh, when my dad was one, around one, uh, he, his mom dressed him in this really cute baseball outfit. And so when me and my sisters became around one years old. He started this family tradition of dressing each one of us in the outfit and taking a picture with like a little baseball bat. I'll insert what it looks like here. And so we're gonna do that today. So I'm really excited. It's almost, I 
just feel really emotional about it. It's wild. It's still so surreal, even though I've been a parent now for 14 and a half months, it's still really, really surreal. And so to have moments like this, where I'm now taking a picture with my daughter in the outfit that I wore and that my sisters wore and that my dad wore when he was a baby with my grandmother who um, passed away when I was very young. So I never really get, got to know her, but this is a way that I kind of feel connected with her because she got to do this with my dad. But this little outfit is uh, like 70 years old. And so we'll do it with all of our kids. If my siblings have children, they will do it with their kids. And it's just, it's wild. Anyways, I'll definitely share that photo shoot baking and it's horrible it's horrible like I have to throw this away which is really such a shitty feeling um, to waste food like this but it just it tastes a bit like a pretzel but then it has a horrible aftertaste of baking soda and it was such a combination of things. I did the wrong flour recipe. It was self-rising, so it included baking soda, which just flavor-wise, yuck. Also, it turns out our yeast is like <laughs> at least six months too far gone. So it didn't rise at all. And um, it's so heavy and it just tastes so bad. It tastes really, really bad. I was hoping that even though it looked kind of, it looks kind of cute, but even though it didn't rise, I was hoping that it would at least be edible and good for like dipping in soup. Mark's gonna be making a butternut squash soup tonight, but yeah, it just didn't work out. At least the flour worked for the muffin recipe, but this is so bad <laughs> and so disappointing. I keep eating it, hoping that it would be better, but it's just not total fail. Besides the fact that I'm wasting food, you know, it's happen. It happens. I oh, I don't want to be hard on myself. Next time, I'm, we're gonna get new yeast. I'm gonna have the right flour recipe. Maybe I just get pre-made, all-purpose, gluten-free flour. And yeah, I'm gonna give it another try because I think this has potential, just not this loaf. Oh, um, all right, I'm gonna head up into the studio now that Luna's sleeping. 